Good morning, everyone. Dear diary, it's um eleven thirty four in the morning, and right now it's thirteen degrees outside, and it surely is more than that in, in the house. So um, today is Valentine's Day. Well. Honestly, I don't believe in it, and I will never believe in it. Because, one, I've never had, and I obviously will never have a valentine. Or even someone to even fit that role. Really. And, um... And I'm not gonna even try, to be honest. Because Valentine's Day is such a stupid excuse for people to show off their the girls in front of the ones that are single and struggling just like me there's a point where like having a valentine is just not a choice or even something that you will ever be able to do no matter no matter how hard you just try <sighs> and to be really fair like Sometimes it's just best to stay alone, at most cases, instead of just being with people who literally just fuck you over while you are not looking. Like, especially, and of course, trusting the people who give you such comfortable words and completely, a complete crazy, um, believable words that they will be by your side, they will not abandon you, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and bang, bang, in the end they just fuck you over, and any and anything good that has ever happened between you and them, whether you give it to them or they give it to you, it has been denied, and, um, and they're just gonna begin to lie. And everyone will believe that lie. Well, this is society. And to be very honest, I would love to see the FGC die. I would love to see it die, whether online or in real life. Because let's be real, fighting games were never meant to be played online, or for the fighting, or for its experiences to be shared with anyone, or or to even have any kind of similar interest in the whole case. Like, you just need to play it alone. Or play it with a part of your family who is going to ever be into fighting games like you. If not, then don't bother. Don't bother even playing online in the first place. Because playing online is just the first step of you getting fucked over. Isolation and playing these games alone is where it fits best. Cause some, cause let's be real, sharing is one of the most dangerous crimes you could ever do. If you share something you like, then you're completely gonna get fucked up. You're gonna completely get fucked up for sharing, and who knows what could happen. <sighs> so, uh, aside from that, I still haven't fully waking up and um, probably probably just gonna be doing my usual breakfast and prayer and then gonna just relax there aren't any online books or any kind of stuff to st study from except of some books from the last year but of course but I'm not gonna even bother with that Right, and, um, and honestly, the f first week was a bit, and honestly, yesterday, mm, was it to be in college sense, there was that one last lecture that kind of, um, that kind of ruined me, you know, like, I understood nothing, I wasn't able to focus, and the teacher was... Pretty much giving out lots and lots of bullshit to the point that my brain has stopped working. And I'm not even joking about that. It really stopped working. 
Like seriously, the education system has fallen down real hard. And like and people wonder why the hell we fail, you know. But aside from that, uh I guess these days would be quite regular days, you know, nothing special, nothing's too crazy. And honestly, I would love for them to stay that way, you know, living that good old regular life without anything new, without anything crazy, without any dramas, without even any miracle or any, you know, amazing thing to happen. Because this, because honestly, living your own regular life, like how you always used to be, Living it is just your perfect way to live. Really. Like, try and get more. And you're just gonna get fucked up. You just need to stick to your place. Even though it's a shitty place. But you just have to stick to it. Because, um... Sticking to it is your only way. I mean... Believe me. Whether or not. Whether we like it or not, it is going to be our life. And, um, honestly, I still don't want to believe in that. But, you know how society works nowadays, so why should we even bother to get outside the, that circle and uh, try new things and whatsoever? I mean, I went outside and went into the same crazy old place and uh, guess what I came back the next day I have been completely fucked up in the ass <sighs> and um, I'm gonna be real if like I'm gonna be real I'm honestly too scared to go outside in these days like, I really cannot guarantee what I'm going to get when I come back from outside. I just can't guarantee it. I can't guarantee anyone. You know, or trust anyone. You know? Like, I'm still, I'm still a bit scared. Honestly. And I'm shaken up, of course. However, um... We live in a timeline where pretty much anything is possible. A society is fucked up. I mean, and to just... But also, I'm going to try and make use of this day by probably playing the Sega CD version of Snatcher. I mean, it's um, it's a board that everyone just know how to play it, you know. Along with uh, with a few more random games, probably for more for Konami or something. And um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stick to the house and stuff, cause tomorrow is. Um, because tomorrow is just another college day, and uh, hopefully it goes well, I guess. <sighs> I mean, and I guess happy Valentine's Day to those who actually believe and celebrate and do all that. Because in Egypt, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day at all. Like, Valentine's Day just doesn't exist. Only a very few stores and whatsoever celebrate with that shit, but imagine celebrating that while you don't have anything. I know most of the people would be saying your parents, but yeah, my parents are never to be the replacement to, to the Valentines, because... They are way too stupid and way too goddamn shit to be my valentines and whatsoever. 
like let's just try spending a few moments with with my mom or my dad or my stupid dumbass brother it's gonna be a disaster like a complete disaster <sighs> like let's be real for me valentine's never existed unless of course someone can make it true for me unless someone can make uh, the valentine become true um then i guess i could believe in it but honestly i don't want to bother trying to try to get anyone anymore in fact i'm just not gonna bother in getting out of my circle and try to catch another woman just to find out that they are goddamn children in fact i completely i completely give up on trying to get me some bitches like let's be real for you to try and get some bitches or to try and catch up a woman or however you want to say it is just a complete waste of time waste of effort waste of life waste of mind waste of breath waste of everything like and the worst of it all most most of the fact that you are with with someone is to just show off how up, how sophisticated and whatsoever you are like Bruh, we get it. You have a fucking girlfriend. Now go and, uh, I don't know, do whatever couple stuff y'all wanna do away from us. Don't just make us feel bad for, for being single all this time. And that just reinforces my point from yesterday about love was never meant to be for anyone. In fact, Love never existed for anyone, especially for people like me. Like, let's be real. Love is a myth, a legend, a complete fantasy. And uh, the only love you can ever give is to, is to your PC, to your phone, to your bed, to your pillows, to pretty much everything that doesn't have a soul. Y'all really don't believe me? Y'all think I'm crazy, of course, but... <sighs> Once you get to the same point in life that I am, you'll soon know how it feels. Well, uh, that's enough for me today. And, um... And I guess, uh, hopefully things are going to change for the better, I guess.